It is do or die time as district competition wrapped up for Class A girls basketball and tipped off for boys hoops. We start with the North Star Navigators and the Marion Crusaders in District A5. Pick up action in the third quarter. Navigators up 31-29 and a close one as Annie Lou drives inside for the tough bucket. 33-29 Gators. A little later, Crusaders trying to keep it close and this three ball by Elsa Vidral will help. 33-32 heading into the fourth. Fourth quarter, Sarah Gatwich grabs the rebound off the missed free throw and drives up the court. Count the basket and the foul. Gators rolling then later in the quarter. Gators looking to add on to their lead. Kendall Anderson gets it in the corner for three. It is up and bang, it's good. The Navigators are Class A District 5 champs. They're headed back to state competition. Pius the 10th and Lincoln Southeast squaring off in Class A District 6. Fourth quarter, Thunderbolts down 45-41. Ava Markowski inbounds it to Bryn Sebeck, who drains the corner three. It is a one-point ball game. A little later, after some free throws, Knights up 45-44. Three-pointer won't go, but Nylock Dak is there for the rebound and the putback. She'd finish with a double-double tonight. Later, Knights looking to end this one late. Dak recovers the loose ball and gives it ahead to Avery Graves, who finds Catrice Olds for the game ceiling bucket. The Lincoln Southeast Knights are District 6 champs. Five years ago, we were 1 and 22. They come in, they win four games, they win 10 games the next year, 10 games the next year, 18 this year. They're the X Factor. Oh, so nice. Thank you guys for having me. And Omaha Northwest taking on the Lincoln High Lynx in round one of Boys District Hoops. First quarter, Lynx up 5-1. Three-pointer won't go. Ball is loose, but Brady Nick is there for the rebound. He drives inside, doesn't get it the first time, but grabs his own rebound and sinks the bucket. 7-1 Lynx lead early. Later in the first, Lynx back on offense. Jaira Gilmore says, feed me down low, and the big fella connects. Lynx are rolling late. Then, second quarter, Lynx looking to increase their lead. Nick at the top of the key. It's good. Lynx advance to the second round. They hit the road to face Miller North on Saturday.